What's up, everybody? DarkPerGamerYT here. Welcome to the 48th episode of the MP Tune Review series. Now, today we are looking at this car right here. This is a car that is apparently inspired by dragons, which its name kind of gives away and the kind of style to it. I like it. Many people say they don't. This is the Ejlani Drakuma, which I have tuned at 1771. The tune that I did is 031010. Now, this tune is actually very good for this car. Let's get into the stats here. The top speed is 476, 477, four sometimes, hey, sometimes 478 kilometers an hour. So it's a little bit under, but it's still it can still do well. The acceleration is actually better than I thought. It is 2.606 seconds. The handling is decent. The drift radius is a little bit wide, manageable, but it's a little bit wide. And the nitro efficiency is mid decent, I would say. As I said earlier, I do like this one. You can definitely see like the the call to like dragons, like the wings right there, and just the the like the whole style that it's kind of like you know it's got the dragons look to it. I love the exhaust pipe. It looks so futuristic the way it like line. It like reminds me of like Tron in a sense. You know, a lot of people say it looks like a beetle or something, but it's I mean, I can see that, but it's mainly the inspiration from what I read on it is inspired by Dungeons and Dragons. So, yeah, I mean, I like it. Honestly, I really do. It's a really nice one to me. Yeah can't think of anything else. So, without a further ado, let's take this car straight into multiplayer and see exactly how it does, and we will talk at the end of the races to discuss the final thoughts of its performance.
Okay, and here we are with the final thoughts for the Ejlani Dracuma at 1771. Wow. I am actually kind of blown away by its performance, to be honest. I did not think, after hearing over and over about how bad this car is, that it would perform so good in this rank. So, yeah, this is actually quite a good car at this rank now at pro yeah it's probably one of the most mid that you can find in this rank there's so many better options at pro for at that rank but at 1771 this thing actually does pretty darn good now yes for tuning at this rank there are many better ones that you can do but the dracuma is a sur surprising one honestly for performing this well in this rank so it's pretty good you know you can actually do pretty it can do much better than i definitely thought it would so yeah it's, it's very enjoyable to use it's so cool to use i will say there's a little bit of a weirdness does anyone else notice this like does the nitro stream look like it's slightly crooked <laughs> Because, I swear to god, it looks like it's crooked slightly. I don't know if it's just me or something else. <laughs> Tell me if you see that as well. I, I'm curious. So yeah, I do actually, if you want to make this thing useful, I would recommend tuning it to this rank. It is the best way you can make the Dracuma useful. And it, it's, it's quite fun, honestly. It's just very fun to use. This is just a car that is just meant to be fun to use that's really all this one's about just being fun anyway that wraps up this mp tune review i thank you all for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video peace out everybody